This store has lots of CLS that made it fall from Google's ranks. Here's how to address this issue. So I have recently been contacted by the owner of this store who told me that uh, his site has seen a drop in organic visits due to Google not recommending it anymore. They pointed out the CLS issue which looked kind of bad, no questions. So what is CLS? CLS refers to the total layout shifting happening in your store during its loading. If you have elements moving, changing position or shifting around, you will fail from Google's graces. You should aim to have less than 0.25 in layout shift, ideally less than that, much less than that, like 0.1 or even 0 if possible. If your page loads up smoothly and without any shifting, Google will take that into account and because of this performance, they will rank your store higher than your competition in Google search. Fixing the CLS issue is not complicated, but it requires some coding knowledge and can become tedious sometimes. To determine if your site is suffering from excessive layout shifting, you can use Google Speed Insights and Chrome Lighthouse tool. This video is meant for my customer, but I am going to give you a sneak peek into the process of how I've determined the source of the problem and how I fix the theme to have a minimal layout shift. On this theme, the speed optimization was done correctly in my opinion. There were used a number of techniques, one of which is that of lazy loading CSS. That means that the theme.css is loading on the page right after the document itself gets downloaded. Because the theme CSS is downloading only after the rest of the DOM, in the first second the theme doesn't have its styling file. And that means that we will see all the elements unstyled for a second. And as the CSS gets downloaded, the elements will fall into their proper places. Although it may not be easily noticeable to the naked eye, the Google speed test detects this issue and in that second when the elements get first loaded unstyled and then the CSS gets downloaded, that creates a lot of layout shift. To lazily load the theme.css and still serve a good looking page without CLS, we have to insert in line the critical CSS for the visible part of the page. Page. This critical CSS will ensure that in the first second before the theme.css gets downloaded the page will look good and Google will not get upset with us. This theme had the critical CSS for home page, collection page and product page. Unfortunately the critical CSS that the theme had was not complete or was compiled wrong. This was the main issue I had to solve. I had to recompile a critical CSS file that will make the page look good in those first seconds. There are multiple tools for doing this. One of the simplest ways is using an online critical CSS compiler where you feed the whole theme CSS file and the URL you want to create your critical CSS for. Hit create and here it is. If you have multiple templates looking different like a collection page with a banner and a collection page without a banner, you will have to create critical CSS for both of them. After having your critical CSS ready and have the snippet for serving the CSS in line on your theme.liquid, then you have to do lots and lots of testing. The way to test is by running Chrome's Lighthouse test then looking at the view original trace and look for moving elements on the initial load. If you find such elements, you will have to go to the critical CSS for that page and add another rule that will prevent the layout from shifting. For example, if the font size is changing and this causes the layout to move, address that text element and reserve on the page the space for its final size. That way, when the font size changes, there is enough space for the element on the page without it causing any other elements to move. Even though Google doesn't look under the fold that much, it doesn't hurt to try and fix the elements under there too. You can zoom out and then run the lighthouse test again. In this case, I would try to reserve the space for this box. The lighthouse test doesn't show all the issues the Google speed test is showing. So after you fix the issues you see in the lighthouse test, you can move to Google's insights test. Here you can look at the elements it suggests and you can do the same thing. Through CSS rules, you should prevent the given elements from 
from shifting or causing other elements on the page to move or shift. I've added a number of such rules and now the Google test speed shows that I'm in the green. However, the Google search console will not show this right away. It needs a couple of days to refresh the data. In case you are not using this technique and you don't have any critical CSS file on your theme, you will have to create a snippet and add the CSS rules that prevent the CLS there. Then render that snippet on the page you are looking to fix. You can use conditions and render the CSS rules just on the template you are working on. So what is the CLS of your page? I hope this video helped. If you want to see more like it, do subscribe, do like and I'll see you next time.